Good morning, everyone. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona. Lived here for about a year and a half and am glad to be going live on my Facebook page showing you a fun uh, little project using the Stitched with Whimsy dies, the Happy Thought stamp set, and the Daisy Lane stamp set. Good morning, Wendy. I'm playing with a whole bunch of different things today because I I got the Stitched with Whimsy dies and I hadn't used them. So I thought, oh man, I better get those out and find a way to use them. And they are super fun. So I've combined um, some product from the January through June mini catalog as well as um, the annual catalog. So good morning to Linda and Beth. Thanks for popping in this beautiful morning. Let me point my camera down and I'll show you what I'm going to make today. Just give me a sec. You see, I always get a little good view of my ceiling fan there. That's always exciting. So if you haven't seen the Stitched with Whimsy dies, they're going to be um, on page 72 of Stampin' Up's January through June 2021 mini catalog. Um, Beth, you'll have to show us what you make with those. Um, because they're interesting because they... Um, let me show you the dies themselves. These are the dies, and they don't actually cut. They leave an impression. Um, so I, I cut my paper to the size that I wanted and then made the, um, the fun little impressions uh, on that. So you'll see there are several, several sizes, and for this project... Um, I I grabbed this one and I've already I've already cut out a bunch of these um, on the basic white cardstock so we could get started with that. Good morning, Sandy. Thanks for popping in. Let me give you the measurements of this basic white piece. Good morning, morning, Holly. I'm always eight thirty. Is I mean I'm up, but I seem to have cotton in my mouth. So that's three and a half by. Um, four and three quarters and it fits perfectly with that um, second from the largest die and gives us a really nice stamping space. So the other things I'm going to use for today's card are the Stampin' Up's Happy Thoughts stamp sets that's also in the January through June 2020 one mini catalog. I love the um, the large sentiments, these four, the congratulations, thank you, thinking of you, happy birthday. When I think of making a set of cards, that's what I think about, is that if I were going to set a set of cards to somebody, these four cards would be something that they could use uh, and just have in their um, desk drawer so they could be ready to send it at any time. So that's kind of how this project is set up today is I was thinking that my aunt um, would just love to have some cards at her fingertips to send out. So what could I what could I use? And then I'm also using the Daisy Lane uh, stamp set with that as well as Stampin' Up! Stamparatus. Uh, this, this is, if you haven't seen it, uh, it's stamp. It's our stamp positioning tool, and this is something that will uh, make your stamping go quickly and easily if you have a set of cards or something that you have a lot to stamp with. Good morning, Deb. Thanks for popping in. So let's. I'll show you um, the cards that I've created, and then we'll make one, and I'll show you how I did that. And I once I start going on a project, I. Um, I, I start changing it up a little bit. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention that we're going to use are the, the blending brushes. So this is um, a combination of those products in Daffodil Delight. Good morning, Cindy. Thanks for popping in. I, and I think these are just really, um, this says spring to me. And we're all certainly ready for spring. So I changed it up a little bit and then I did the balmy blue with the Daffodil Delight Daisy. So I have the happy birthday, the thank you, 
And then I did uh, basic white on basic white in the congratulations. Um, so I couldn't really decide which which one I wanted to do and then I couldn't even decide again so I did the daisy in the balmy blue with just the white um the white background so you'll have to let me know which one which one you like best today we're just we're going to do the balmy blue um but they just the changing the colors changes the look just a little bit with the blending and that stitched with whimsy dye i just i'm really excited and can't wait to get this set of cards in the mail um to my aunt and then i even stepped it up i have a class next week and i stepped it up just a little bit um putting another layer between the white and the card base. So um, so you like the happy birthday, which, yeah, with the balmy blue. So there are lots of different options that we can do with this. So um, pretty, pretty basic, but if you haven't seen the Stamparatus, how I have it set up is, um, it comes with the two plates that I'm using. I would try not to bonk my camera with it. And I have the sentiments all set up on it. So I have my congratulations and my thank you. I'm just gonna tuck that into the corner. Put the one magnet on there. I know it comes with two, but sometimes that gets, um, if, if they, snap together they'll break right in half and that's not a good thing um so then i'm going to tuck a stamp set underneath there just to give it some um stability and i'm using one of stampin up's um uninked ink spots so i these come completely empty and I used the refill of balmy blue to make my own little ink spot. This is good for traveling and this is also good for um, using with the Stamparatus because sometimes with that, with our big stamp pad, we tend to get ink all over the place or I do and I know I can be, it can be a real mess. So I find that sometimes these little ink spots work really well. So I'm just gonna um, ink up my, ink up my stamp, my congratulations and um, I've got it set up so it's in exactly the right spot that I need. So if I wanted to do more congratulations, I could quickly just pop that out, pop another one back in, and it's all set to go. I don't have to reposition and figure out where it's going to go. Close it, if I felt that I didn't um, have enough ink, I could ink it up again. I'm gonna clean that off real quick. I've taken part of my Simply Chamois and cut it into pieces so that it's small enough for this. And now I wanna move on making my set of cards. I wanna do the thank you. So I just, um, the, the whole great thing of this apparatus is the hinge. So you can just change the hinge around. Um, I'm gonna slip my paper in and um, get my ink and I'm gonna get the thank you card going. So you can see how you could um, really get a lot of cards stamped in a short period of time with, with that Stamparatus, and that looks perfect. Um, again, I will clean it off with my Simply Chamois. And on the other plate that comes with the Stamparatus, I've already put on uh, my birthday sentiment and my thinking of you. So they're all um, all ready to go too. If, if my camera worked a little bit better, um, I could put it on this side and we could just be stamping fools. I guess I'd am that all the time anyway. So then I'm ready, I just ink up my thinking of you. And I'm all in position to make a bunch of cards in a hurry. All right, and say I didn't really think that was dark enough, I can ink that up, and because I've got it positioned with the magnet, it's gonna go in the exact same spot, and I can make it as dark as I want. All right, I'm gonna pull that out. Let's clean that quick with my little piece of the Simply Chamois, and I'm going to um, move that aside as well as the stamp set, because I've got the 
steps all ready to go. Let's work on that thinking of you. I know I have a ton of people that could use a thinking of you card right now. Um, so I'm using the balmy blue ink. Um, yes, that's the, um, that is the great thing about the Stamparatus. It, it helps you get things on straight. It helps you re-ink again if you haven't put enough ink on it. And there are also um, some other really super fun techniques that we can use with that Stamparatus. And I've done some other videos. I like the hinge step stamping and two step stamping. Um, so these are the blending brushes found in the January through June mini catalog. I always like to just ink off just a little bit so I don't get a big glop. Uh, it just seems, the ink just seems to go on a little better and I just work in little circles until, um, until I have the desired darkness and coverage. I'm not alone in my stamping Stamping fool, I know I come in here and time goes. I've been listening to books on Audible while I stamp and I'm kind of hooked on that. I've been going through a series and um, it's been really super fun. So there's that. Uh, and you know, the daisy from the, um, the daisy and the daisy punch has been in our stamp set, in our catalog for a while. This is in the annual catalog. And, you know, we're going to be getting a new annual catalog May 4th. So I'm kind of excited to see what what's in there and what we have going on. Um, I have a basic white um, sheet set aside. And I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight to punch a couple of daisies. Well, I'm going to stamp them first. Stamp the daisies. Um, and I want to kind of get them so that they're easy to punch. And I'll show you how that is. If, if those are straight up, it'll go in the punch quite a bit easier. A lot less stress involved in trying to find the petals. All right, so we need two of those to make our card. Close that up. All right, so there's our Stampin' Up! Punch. I love that our products coordinate, our stamps match our, our, our dies, they match our punches, the ink matches the paper, everything coordinates it's, and it makes it so easy to be successful. So I just slide my flower, stamped flower in and line it up to the best of my ability and punch. And then I'm gonna do that again on the other side giving myself plenty of leverage to position that and then um, punch that out. So I have my two little daisies and I use um, our glue dots to use the two of them together. You know, it's fun to be reminded of what's in the annual catalog. We get so excited about what's in our little minis. You know, we've had the holiday and now we've had the spring that sometimes I forget to really go back and use all the great stuff. Um, oh, uh, Monica, the border is a stitched with whimsy die. And it, so it's a die cut and it just makes that, um, it makes that for you. All right, so here I've got my um, balmy blue base and um, you could pop that up or you could do that flat. I think I'll do it flat because it's just easier if, as I'm making a gift set because I'm going to finish up these cards later today and, and do one of each and package them up in four. Um, you know, we have the acetate card boxes in our annual catalog where four uh, cards and four envelopes fit perfectly and they protect the card. You can put um, a ribbon around it, put a sentiment on top, and it makes a really, really awesome gift for anybody. And right now, I think anybody just loves um, getting handmade cards. Good morning, Trudy. Thanks for popping in. I'm going to put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of my daisy and um, put on the front of the card. And uh, with that stitched with whimsy die, oh, it's just, 
It is just, it's just whimsical. It just brightens my day. And just think of all the other color combinations you could make. And then I'm gonna grab some of our, our basic rhinestone jewels. I don't know how we live without those. I'm hoping that they're one of the things that gets to stay in our catalog because I also like to color them with the Stampin' Blends. And I know I should use um, a different tool for this, but my fingernails work fine. So there we go. All right, so there is that thinking of you card, and I have all the others ready to go, the thank you, the congratulations, and the birthday. Um, so I'll just kind of show you um, what we've made. Oh, you know, there is something else. So along with um, when I got the Stitched with Whimsy dies, when you see that on the page, there's also... Um, it's shown with this, this really cool, the hot dog, the hot dog stamp set. And um, I didn't, I had a basset hound, so he could kind of be a basset hound, but he's probably more like a dachshund. But I just, anything dogs, I just love it. So I got this along with the Stitched with Whimsy. So yesterday I was playing along and I thought, well, how can I use, um, how can I use the, that puppy? So this is the, pu let me move these. I'm, this is the puppy card I made. Um, using that same design. So I used the Stitched with Whimsy. And um, stamped the dog, colored him with Stampin' Blends and cut him out using, again, the blending in the background and the Stitched with Whimsy and the hot dog, it's your birthday. So I thought that was super cute. Good morning, Linda. Thanks for popping in. So then I thought, okay, well, what other colors could I use that are a little bit more masculine? Um, you see, you can see how the thought progression works on the cards. You just sit down and you wonder, what am I gonna make? And then it just it just snowballs from there. So then I remembered that we had uh, this designer series paper. You know, again, sometimes things get lost in the, um, in the stacks of paper. So this was the one, and then I, I stepped it up just a little bit um, using some layers and um, some ribbon like that. So it's funny how, you know, it progressed from a daisy to a dog with some blending, but super fun. Um, encourage you to give the Stitched with Whimsy um, dies a, a shot because they are super fun. You'll, I guess in this one, I did use that little, the little square one. So Anyway, there's my projects for today. Thanks for popping in. Um, you can find me online at kimplayswithpaper.com on my blog. And I post there two or three days a week with different card ideas. So um, I'd love to have you here with me today. I'll be back next Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Um, thanks to everyone for commenting and sharing and popping in. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day and that you make some time to create something for you or for someone else. Thanks for popping in. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.